Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we are doing just a normal wheel spin challenge. The super wheel spins I have decided are too easy, so we'll do one or two of these. Maybe three, depending on if we get a fatty budget or a nice car. 15k, good to start. 30,000 credits, that's good. We're gonna do one more, and then if it's like crazy, we'll ignore it. 35,000 credits, so it looks like we're going to be going to the auction house and hopefully finding something different, or different, a decent, how's decent sound? So, max bid, max buyout rather, we're gonna put a 35k, uh, we'll put a 40k, of course, and then we'll look for 35k. Oh man, there's so many good cars in here. Oh, that's it. Evo, freaking Evo 9 or Evo 8, we're buying this thing out, there's no reason to place a bid on it. All right, this bad unit is an Evo 8, arguably one of the best, if not the Evo 9. Those two are very close to being just the best Evos, and we got it for 16k. So let's see what we can do to this bad guy, bad unit, whatever. For $19,000 is what we have to spend on this thing. We're 50 credits away, what can we take out? Okay, we're gonna go for not as good of a clutch, even though I really wish we could, and we want power. I think we're gonna see how much, if we can fit these cams in here. Ooh, that's close. We have 550. We're going to take the rear tire upgrades off. Oh, and it makes us... Okay, interesting. Interesting. We could actually... We could put these guys in. But I don't think it's going to help too much, right? Yeah, I think we'll just leave them out. I think it, it's more useful having them out. And that is that. We have $15,650 spent on this thing. And we go up just a little bit in lateral G's. We gain 30 horsepower. We lose a little bit of weight. We lose three pounds of weight. Interesting. Interesting how just that little of horsepower basically turns this thing into a racing machine, hopefully. A B-class racing machine. All right, here is our base tune. Without any testing, this is what we have gone through and done. I just shrank the gears a little bit here. The alignment, not, not too much crazy difference. Of course, anti-roll bars are the same. Springs are set the way I usually have them set. Same with damping, arrow we can't touch, brake we can't touch, and this is typically what I do for differential. And we will do some fiddling after we do a hot lap to see how we do. With just a few tasteful upgrades on the paint and stuff, this thing really does look sick. Just a hint of tint on the windows, put the right color on this car, and darken up the freaking, uh, I can't think of what they're called, the rims and the brake calipers. This thing is also squatting pretty hard because we're going up a hill hitting it fairly quick. And from what I've noticed already, we may need to adjust the freaking rear amber ever so slightly, as well as put the power balance slightly more towards the, the front because it likes to slide a little bit. All right, we pulled off a 116 for this guy. Not too bad. I just said guy again when I meant to say bad unit. Whatever, who cares? Ah, this is one of my dream cars for sure. An Evo 8 or an Evo 9. These freaking things are so sick looking and they're just so, so good right from the factory. Again, we spent 35K on this car total. Everyone else has an unlimited budget, I'm sure. So do not judge me if this car is not as good as it could be. And that dude just goes straight in the wall, that's good. It is definitely less slidey already, I can tell. And that dude missed the checkpoint. That's good. We're out in first. This is good news for us. Nice corner. A little slidey. That's fine. I'll let you take up the inside, brother. You're faster. Go ahead. Oh, it's an RX-8. Very nice. That's a good car, too. It's not hit him. Not hit him. Oh, we came in way too hot there. That was my bad. Whoops. Oh, I don't have an oops thing. We'll just throw in it's more of a time out there. That's a good one. Nobody else seems to have that anymore. Oh, we're down to three. We're going to make sure we tuck all these corners as best as possible. Get the tires off the road if we can. Slow down ever so slightly. And yeah, definitely still slidey, but not near as bad. I think that has to do with just not having good enough tires. That and I forgot we took the rear tire upgrade off to get enough power to get this thing up to like top B class. So that could be it partially as well. Dude, that RX-8 is speedy. That dude's hauling. Yep, 
Yes, sir. Second place will do for us. We got a 55 second best lap time because I didn't screw up and hit the wall by slowing or not slowing down there enough. Good stuff. Okay, lookout circuit. The phallus circuit, as I like to call it, because that's what it looks like. Yes, sir. Sort of. Sort of looks like. It's wishful thinking, but that's what I'm going to that's what I'm going to call it anyway. Three, two, one, go. All wheel drive launch is great. Always great. Part of the reason why I was looking for something all wheel drive, that, and it's a lot easier to tune when it's all wheel drive. Or a lot easier to make better, I guess. Especially from stock, there's no way we had enough money to make a car that was real wheel drive, all wheel drive. So we went for something all wheel drive as standard. Dude, the gears in this car are so big, and we even, like, made them smaller. It's so, they're just huge. That GTR. I feel like he's going to be pushing people off. I feel it. Ooh, a little slidey. Don't you be, don't you be freaking pushing people off, doofus. It ain't like that. Thanks for slowing him down, though, so I can catch up. This is great. Oh, he's got a V8, too. These guys are fighting. Damn, that GTR. The dude in that GTR is not, not okay. Uh-oh. These guys are fighting. Fighting it out. Maybe I can sneak up and grab a second somewhere. Gotta let somebody screw up. Slow down. Just a dab of the brakes. We kept our speed through there better than that GTR did. That's for sure. That and I'm in his draft. Come on, baby. Dude, that GTR is just fast enough that we can't keep up with him. Just fast enough. It's such a pain. He definitely does not handle or corner as well as us. He's got more power, but I think we've got better grip. Might just be a tune, too. Who knows? Brother, come on. Get out of my way. Don't you be doing that. You drift the corner. I'll take the inside. Yep. Yep, come on, baby. Oh, he freaking, of course he did. Give him the sorry, but you know what? We could have beat him, for sure. For sure. Without that tap there, I think we could have beat him. Then again, he might have passed us anyway. All right, here we go. This is a sprint race. I am expecting to come dead last on this, just because uh, this is a track for cars with lots of speed, and we do not have a lot. There's a Mercury Cyclone in here now, too. That's probably going to beat us handily. If they have it tuned right and it's a power build, they might beat us handily. I guess let's find out. All wheel drive launch is going to kick in and then everyone else is going to have to catch up. Oh, just kidding. That Cyclone is off to the races. Yeah, that thing's definitely got the, got the gold. He's got it tuned right for sure. See how we do on this corner. Of course, the Cyclone goes off. No surprise there. We're sliding around it. Not too bad. That Cyclone should catch up some power yes sir off he goes we got him on the inside through the corners can we do this all here yes sir no problem big old gears in this car come on oh we don't want to hit this guy lower down make the corner just a gentle tap of the wall. Here comes that GTR. Grab the inside. If he bumps me again, I'm going to lose it. Yep, go ahead. Keep pushing this, brother. That's fine. Oh, we hit the pole. The pole screwed us. No, that cyclone may not do as good as I thought anyway. I thought he was doing going to do better, but I guess he does not have the grip for it. Fair enough. I do not think that Mercury's gonna catch us. I really don't. I think we have just enough of a lead on him and there's enough corners in this for him to not be able to catch us up. Battery's gonna catch us up right around the last like couple corners. That I would not be surprised by, but there's enough corners between, oh, here and there to keep us ahead. Oh, actually he quit. Just kidding. He's not catching us at all. Third place it is. Uh oh, the GTR screwed up. We might pull off second. Come on, baby, keep her going. 
Keep her going. We pulled off second because the GTR crashed. Let's go. I'll take a second overall just because he screwed up. Hell yeah. That makes me much happier. All right. With the right combination of skills and not crashing and a decently built car on a budget, I might remind you, we pulled off a second overall. That's pretty good. Uh, the only reason we pulled off seconds is because that GTR crashed, but you know what? Skill and a car that doesn't slide as much as that one is definitely what got us the win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Our B-Class Racing Evo. Regular wheel spin challenges are so much more fun to me, having to constrict our budget, and it's a lot more competitive. I don't have just like a super huge amount of money to spend on whatever. We have to find something on the auction house. We can't just buy something. I mean, we probably could have bought something, but... Either way, I much prefer the auction house trying to find something that will actually fit our budget and something that works well. So there we go. B-Class Racing Evo. We built a car that's not half bad. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.